step up with your right foot and then step right back down. So you're leading just with the right foot to begin. Keep your right foot on the step, drive the left knee up, tap the toe back down. This is quick and you'll feel that fatigue in the quad of the right leg. Push through it. Right foot step up and then back into a reverse lunge. Combining these two movements together. In a high plank position, walk your hands and your feet to the right and then over to the left, traveling the length of the step back and forth while maintaining a strong plank position. Push the hips back to down dog as you reach with your right hand to the left knee and alternate from side to side. Left leading, step up. So step up with the foot and take it right back down. Nice and quick, getting your heart rate up. Keep the left foot on the step and move into that repeater, driving the right knee up toward the chest and then tap the toes back down. Left foot step up and then right back into a reverse lunge on the left side. Keep your chest lifted and dig through your heels. Push ups, take it down to the edge of the step. We're using the incline here to help us out. Feel free to be on the knees or the toes. Flip around, moving into tricep dips. Hands are right underneath the elbows. Feel free to extend the legs here for more of a challenge. We bend at the elbow and press, keeping them parallel and straight behind you. Flip around and we have a incline burpee. Option to jump at the top or step the feet back rather than the jump back as well. Modify as needed. All right, we're moving into right side step ups. So you're leading with the right side and we're moving laterally now. Step up and then take it back down. Drive through the heel here. Stay on top of the step and move into a mini single leg squat. So it's a small bend at the knee, the hips shift back, chest remains lifted. Right side step up and then step back into a curtsy lunge. So this is a lunge that we have not done before you wanna focus on stepping back at about a 45 degree angle, keeping the knee behind the toes. Find a forearm plank now on the step and maintain stillness here. Holding this plank and now dip the hips just a few inches down toward the ground and then squeeze to return back up to that starting position. 
You should feel this in your obliques or the sides of your core. Bring the bottom knee down to the ground and extend the arm overhead. Draw the elbow to the knee, squeezing together like a crunch movement, working your core on the other side now. Switching to the other side, we've got a left side step up. Left mini single leg squat, remaining on top of the step here with a little movement. Dig through your heel and focus on your balance. Left side step up and then step back into your curtsy lunge. Remember, you're stepping back at about a 45 degree angle Left side plank hold. We hold in stillness. Add the hip dips now. Really squeeze the side body. Drop the bottom knee, extend the right side body and squeeze together. 